Greetings everybody, Blackshot here, welcome to another episode of Prototype. We are doing another story mission errand boy. For samples you've recovered, I still don't have enough. I need you to go inside a hive. The substance at the center, the material the virus is producing. I think it's the key. With it, I think I can reverse the effect of the virus. And Alex, for what it's worth. I'm sorry it had to play out like this. Don't be sorry. Just cure this thing. Okay, how the situation changed? Eh. Well, actually. Mercer, you're a hard man to find. I've been looking forward to this. Who are you? Who sent you? You should pick your friends more carefully, Mercer. You being here means Karen Parker sold me out. McMullen wants you on a slab, so that's what he gets. McMullen wants you on a slab, so that's what he gets. Watch out for that! Reloading! Reloading! Time's running out, Mercer! Your little friends want to come out to play! Undevastory attack on normal took him out. Okay, it didn't took him out at once, but ah, it doesn't do that much damage to him at all.
think you've won, Mercer? You don't even know what fucking game you're playing. <sighs> well, I can tell you all you need to know about Penn Station. In a way, I feel sorry for you. Zeus is down. Bring in the containment device. Can't control my body. Can't even see straight. That bitch sold me out. Let me check, do I have like a web targets to find? No. And you know what? Until I have regained my powers, I don't think I wanna do any of those events. Or maybe, nah, I, I want my powers, it will be just easier. We'll see you soon. Okay, time for another storyline mission after we get betrayed by a Karen and infected with something. Man, you look like shit, but this might help. Like Norm? No, but they're watching someone for him. Okay, it's this doctor named Bradley Ragland. Where is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a good guy. Okay, you find him. He helps us get to McMullen. He's uptown at St. Paul's Hospital. He runs the morgue there. Wait, wait, hold on. There's more. All right, so I did some research on uh, Hope, Idaho. It, it was an army town. On July 21st, 1969, it vanishes from the map. The official word was that it was an anti-government gun nut standoff. Some militia killed a bunch of people, and the feds killed the militia. Now, there was only one survivor. Notice the girl, second from the left. Elizabeth Green. She looks an awful lot like a college student these days. Not bad for 55 years old. Hope Idaho was an experiment. How could you possibly know that? The people I've killed, they're in me. I can hear them, see the things what they've the done. What the fuck are you talking about? I can understand it all. I'm supposed to do these things, but it's right. I can feel it. Find Ragland. Then ask him. Okay, so technically that wasn't a mission but a cutscene. So give me a moment, I resume the recording when like the proper mission starts. But this hopefully will be a normal storyline mission, not a cutscene. <laughs> said I won't deal with you people. My medical opinion's not for sale. I'm impressed. What is it you want exactly? Your help stopping the virus. Why? You could say I'm symptomatic. So pick a side. I'll tell you what I know. But first, we need to find where the military has patient zero. Okay, the bodies from the first outbreak are the key. Black Watch Spectres took them. Find the Spectres, find the bodies. Maybe I can find some answers.
Okay, so the station changed. Wow, like the south. Holy shit, man. Yeah, the south part of Manhattan right now, it's not good. I mean, it makes sense. Captain Lim, at ease, Trooper. Get on the horn and tell them we've secured the Penn Station bodies. I'm taking the heavy armor to destroy a hive. Get control points up in this area, then rendezvous with us at Gentech. Yes, sir. Ain't looking good. You start killing all his men.
motherfucker. Yeah, throwing cars doesn't really work. Motherfucker, like god damn it. Fucking shit. I fucking hate that. Of course he died, for fuck's sake! Motherfucker. Okay, thankfully I can just...
Sir, Director McMullen surrendered the bodies to a civilian. Ragland? Yes, sir. You did the right thing, son. Your new orders are this. Recover all samples, bodies, and evidence from Dr. Ragland. Bring them to base AE-1. Ragland? If he doesn't interfere, leave him be. He's already implicated. He won't talk. And McMullen, sir. It's time for the doctor to learn who's in charge of this little excursion. Okay, I'll be doing some events. Probably hunt for... It was perfect. They used Karen to get to me. Used the genetic material I'd collected to make a weapon to try and take me out. By the time I discovered she was working for Blackwatch, she was gone. But I had a bigger problem. A weaponized cancer was eating me from the inside out. I needed a doctor. Okay, a special kind of doctor. I needed Ragland. How did it feel to be infected with something you couldn't control? Like my own body wanted me dead. Did you ever consider how the parasite felt? An intelligent cancer ripped from its host? Yeah, I did. Once. Right before I killed it. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, I might be doing some events, although probably not until I get my powers back. Uh, I will probably like, uh, inv not investigate, infiltrate one of the bases uh, and hunt for more uh, like web, tar web of intrigue targets. And we have like 23 of them, so yeah, I have my work cut out for, for me. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. I see you guys next time. Bye bye.